there, Tara Jacobson with the M&M Monsters and the Colorado Business Connector. And today we're going to be talking about how to use Hootsuite to schedule your posts out um, for a while and how to really use it for marketing. So one of the things you want to do for your, for your, your marketing, social media marketing efforts is to have lots of really great content that you're sharing. And it doesn't, it can't be just sales message, sales message, sales message, or nobody's really going to follow your social network. So to give you an idea, this is my Hootsuite um, in the back of my stuff. And these are my important Twitters. I tend to use Twitter the most. I also have um, Facebook scheduled out. So this Facebook is scheduled out quite a while, scheduled out for a couple, three weeks. Um, I schedule out my LinkedIn, my Google+, Plus. as you can see that my pages don't have much scheduled, but this is my profile and I try to make sure that I keep that full. Um, so what you want to do is you want to, I use um, a site called Bloglovin, which is really nice. It allows me to find a lot of content without having to really work very hard to do it. So I have this set up, I have all kinds of things in here, affiliate marketing, awesome stuff, books, copywriting. So let's, um, I like economics. So let's talk about what I'm going to post. And this is my influencer. So I have targeted a couple of people who I really like their content and I really want to make sure that I'm, I'm focusing on them. And so let's see if we have anything that's interesting. The most important search term you need to use. So this is great for my search sites, my search accounts. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up. I clicked on it. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start searching. So it's my searchy nerds. It's going to be good for, it's also going to be good for my marketing artfully stuff. So remember we didn't have much for that uh, LinkedIn page. So we can go ahead and post that on there. Um, I'm going to keyword tag this, hashtag it so that it's able to be found. And, um, I, I don't mind having convert with content there because for this influencers one, I really want them to know. I could also do a search for their at mention, but the problem with that is then if we're doing an at mention that would specifically be for Twitter, then the, uh, it, would, it would look maybe a little bit odd on the, the Facebook and the LinkedIn post. Um, so we're going to do this. It pulled up a really nice picture, so we're going to do that, and then we just click auto schedule. Now the nice thing about um, Hootsuite is, and we're going to come over here, so we're going to go over to LinkedIn, so remember we didn't have anything here, so now it has that, that search and it's all ready to go. It's going to post later today for me because I don't have any scheduled out. And so I would um, absolutely go through here, um, and generally uh, I would read that, okay? I read almost every article that I post, unless it's by somebody that I absolutely know has amazing content. Um, my FJ influencers really do. I'm pointing at them as if you can see that, but um, they absolutely do. So I can feel confident that anybody in this group would have things. But if I was gonna post a copywriting post and I wasn't sure um, if it was going to be great, so want to dominate Pinterest, follow these six steps. So that's a really good post. Um, dominate Pinterest, virtual storefront, likes are, irre likes are irrelevant, so I agree with that. Pin consistency, DIY metrics, run a contest. So that's, that looks like a really good post. If I wasn't doing this with you, I would read it a little bit more because this looks like it's going to be an amazing post. And I do want to save it for later. So I do kind of use my social accounts to be um, places where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find things later. So I'm going to put this on Pinterest. Um, I don't need all of this stuff because I'm not trying to attract them. Um, and I'm going to say here blog post because if you use these special characters like the brackets or we could have done um, double double colon something like that you're gonna have a lot more um, click throughs and things like that it kind of breaks up the um, entirety when they're looking through their Twitter's or they're looking through their Facebook's knowing that it's a blog post instead of just a sales message can really make the difference from getting clicks and getting attraction and having people like your pages it just all kinds of wonderful things happen so I'm gonna actually put these on my marketing artfully ones and what you want to do is you want to wait until Facebook use Facebook first because Facebook will pull up the big beautiful image and then give you a choice 
If you uh, use your uh, Google Plus page, first it won't bring up all of those uh, wonderful images in the thing. And I don't mind putting this on my pterodactyl. That, that will be, be really nice. And I also have a social media marketing nerds uh, Twitter account that this will go great on. Now, Hootsuite only allows you to post to five accounts at a time. So um, I'll show you later as I post my stuff that I will be be posting it to more accounts. But for this, this is good. This is going to make a really nice mix. I don't want to post everything I find that are other people's stuff on all my accounts because then all my accounts are going to look funny. They're going to look alike, and I don't really like that. I want to share a different um, group of content to the, all the different sites. So the one thing that it's easy to forget, so if you have, you know, all these Twitters and you're sitting here, you're doing your blog lovin's, and you're um, posting a lot of stuff, you want to remember to include some of your things in there because at the end of the day, Twitter, um, Pinterest, Google, Google+, Plus, all of those are just tools that you're using to promote your content. So I'm going to make sure here that I have um, some of my things intermingled. So this is one of my favorite posts. It's a 100 great call to action examples. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to put it on my marketing artfully that we just did. So I'm going to say pterodactyl, which is my um, Twitter, my main Twitter account. And then I'm going to say marketing artfully. And I type those. All I'm doing is typing them in, guys. And, and now it's pulling them up. So then I'm going to say marketing artfully and then marketing artfully. Okay, so this is the key. So remember we did the, the Facebook before we did the Google+. Plus. So now I have all these great pictures to use, and I'm going to go find the picture that's from the post. Ah, oh, darn it. It didn't pull that one in because I have lots of content on my website. So this is call to action. So I'm going to use, this is from my website, so I'm going to use that. It's really good. I also want to throw in a hashtag here because marketing is a great hashtag and it will increase it. And then I absolutely want to let them know that this is an informational post, a blog post, instead of um, them worrying that it's going to be a sales message. Now, I do have sales messages in this post. And as you can see, I have my products and services on the right-hand side. So if I can get them to this post... I have a better chance of selling one of my products or services over here. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule that. And because I know I did my marketing artfully this time, I'm going to go ahead and do this and do it to my M&M Monsters accounts. You may not have this many accounts, but with Twitter, there, it, the terms of service do say that you're allowed to use multiple accounts, so there would be no problem with doing that. Okay, so let's do marketing and Media Monsters this time. We're going to pull it up using the Facebook page. There it is. Uh, Marketing and Media Monsters. And then the Twitter account, m and Monsters. And then we can just take a peek. Oh, Email Nerds, that would be perfect for it because it's email subject lines. And so there it is. There's the graphic for this. And we're going to go ahead and schedule that. And so this is a really great way to put them in the mix of all the stuff you're selling. Now, for me, I'm also promoting um, some sales pages. So this isn't all about just doing great content. I also want to sell stuff. So what I'm going to do is this is get an ROI from social media, social media marketing services. And I'm going to actually schedule this for a specific time. So we're going to go ahead and click my hoodie. And we're going to schedule this for a specific time on specific channels because I want to sell these products. So I'm going to say marketing, and these are all going to go out on the marketing art flea, the pterodactyl, um, and then the rest of the marketing art fleas. Okay. And is there anything? There's another marketing art flea, and that's good. And then I can even put this on my LinkedIn. So I have five. If I was going to really be promoting this without you being here, I would actually go take the first five, promote it, take the first five, promote it, take the pr first five and promote it, because that's very important that you share it um, across the board when you're promoting your own stuff. So I'm going to say pound sign Denver, um, and I'm going to say serving the Denver area. Now, I will... 
the Denver, and I want to get Colorado in here because we do Colorado, Colorado area, exclamation. Now, I don't have to do that, and it may turn some people off, but I will tell you in all sincerity, there are people on the internet who are searching for that hashtag Denver, and because I'm located here, I will definitely reach a certain percentage of those people um, that wouldn't necessarily have noticed me if I hadn't used that local geographic hashtag. So there's a million things. This isn't that video, but you can absolutely make a tremendous difference with your the effectiveness of your posting if you pay careful attention to the hashtags you use, the words you use, and how you're doing that. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Eminem Monsters, and the Colorado Business Connector.